Hello everyone, my name is Andrea. I am a part-time seller on eBay Poshmark Mercari and I recently added uh, Kidizen and Tradesy. Um, I used to only source from one store and some retail arbitrage. My favorite th thrift store um, is still closed uh, because of the pandemic, so I had to get creative and find other ways to source for my store uh, so i decided i started doing a lot of retail arbitrage lately and i decided to go to savers which i did not enjoy uh sourcing from savers every single time i went there i found the store to be very dirty and i never found good deals but um, during the current situation i decided to give it a chance again so i'm gonna show you i was very very happy with what i found and i'm gonna show you the things that i found the first thing i found was this uh madewell pair of jeans it's a black jeans it's a little it has some wash wear and a little bit of puckering here but very little but it was 4.79 it's not focusing i'm sorry it was $4.79 with 20% coupon, so I'm hoping to get at least $20 for this pair of jeans. It's a very good size. It's a size 31. Uh, this Savers location that I've uh, been to is a little crazy with it. their J. Crew. Uh, all the J. Crew that dresses they had were marked up. The cheapest was $10.49, but there were usually $16.99, $22.99. But this dress, I found it to be so pretty. Uh, it's a sheath dress, perfect for work. And I couldn't leave it behind. I have not looked up comps yet. Uh, it's a size two. Uh, but the good things about savers is that you can return or not return, you can exchange for something else. So I decided to pick it up and look up comps when I got home. But I haven't done that yet. But it's such a beautiful dress. I wish it was my size. Then I bought another sheath dress. Very good for work as well. It's i uh, I'm sorry, it's not focusing too well. It's a White House Black Market. Let me see if I push back a little bit. Oh, sorry, I'm holding the phone. <laughs> so it's a White House Black Market. And it's a great career dress. And it was $9.99 minus 20%. It was size 12. If you go to Savers, make sure to bring some donation uh, because it will give you a 20% coupon off. So it's always good. Um, they mark up J. Crew in this location, but they don't know what Alice and Olivia is because I found two pieces by Alice and Olivia for a very good deal. It was $5.49, this one. It's Alice and Olivia, size extra small. It's a chambray romper with buttons, and it has a waist belt too. The belt is on the floor right now, but it's so pretty. I think I should get about $30 for this, and you see it has some glitter on it. I'm so sorry, it's not focusing too well. I don't know why. Um, then I found this um, Athleta dress. I always do well with athletic dresses. What happened? Um, they don't sell for a lot, but they sell for between $20 and $30. This one is in very good shape, and it's a size small, tall, which is great. It still has the padding inside. It didn't um, get lost in the wash. Uh, it's a good color, too. This one, I bought it for my son. It was quite pricey. I don't think I would have bought it if it wasn't for my son to resell. Um, it's a Brooks Brother, extra small, button-down t-shirt, not t-shirt, <laughs> button-down shirt. And it's so pure, pretty. Um, the the um, I touched this and I couldn't leave it behind because the quality is, is, is just amazing. So I decided to have it for my son and one he's done wearing it i can just sell it and get my money back or some and some um this is a toad and co dress it used to be called toad and company 
I mean, Toad, Horny Toad, now it's Toad and Company. Um, it, it's a maxi dress. Seems like I can get about $30 for it. This one is a brand that I have never found before. It's new to me. It's a call. It's called Isis. I only picked it up because it it's organic cotton. And athleisure dresses usually do very well. And it was only $3.99 minus 20%. I can get between um, $18 and $25 for it. This dress, I touched it on the rack and I felt like this is very good quality, but I had no idea what it was. And I looked around and then I could find a tag. It's uh, uh, cool. Uh, let me show you the name right here. I'm sorry, I'm holding the camera. Um, it's a reversible dress. You can see here, cool. It has no tag here because it's reversible. You can use both sides, so. It's a uh, dark blue and uh, this royal blue. It's a beautiful color combination. Then I found this Dakini dress. It's uh, a brand that I have found before and sold pretty quickly for, I believe, $18. Let me see if I can show you. Yeah, here, sorry, trying to focus. You can see, um, it's, this one has a very beautiful paisley print and it's a size large and i should get about 18 to 25 dollars for it then another alice and olivia this one is silk it's a size extra small no flaws no stains and it was 549 i love the back it's like a racer back with an exposed zipper it's a mini dress then i found this 3.1 Philip Lim. Uh, it's just a, a no. Uh, it's just a top. Nothing too special. I think I can get fifteen dollars for it just because it's a, such a basic. Um, it's a size large, and it says here on the hem, it has the the little F L. And it was one ninety nine. And I found this Bowden dress. The cuffs didn't look too great. I thought they were going to be better. It's a good size, size 12. No, um, okay, I'm sorry. It's size 8, US 8. Yeah. But it's such a beautiful dress. It was in great condition. Gosh, I can't do this. It's so blurry. I don't understand why it's so blurry. Uh, this one is another Toad and Co. dress. You can see here. That was very expensive, $9.49, but I decided to get it anyway. And because it's a maxi dress, it's black. I have not looked up comps on that one yet. Oops, I'm sorry. Um, then this Soft Surroundings green dress. It's a size... Petite extra large, and it has this tie on the arms, and I love the detail on the back. It's a tassel, so pretty. I do not know, uh, I have not looked up comps yet. This one is going to be a return. I bought this one. It's a uh, cabbie, but it's old, uh, an old tag. It has the old tag, and it was $9.49, which is high for cabbie. Um, but I found it so pretty and it's in excellent condi condition. But when I looked up comps, um, it's only selling for between 18 and 25. Some of them sold for 30, but it's missing the belt. So this one is going to go back. Um, this one is Custo Barcelona. Uh, I have found this brand twice before. And it's, they have like this funky designs. This is a dress with dropped waist. It's a cotton dress. It was quite expensive, $11.49, but I have um, a coupon and it should sell for over $30. This one is a Lily Pulitzer romper and it's not focusing again. I'm so sorry. Please don't give me a thumbs up, <laughs> a thumbs down because of that. Um, 
it's a size small it was 440 449 i can't speak and the problem is it has some armpit stains i don't know if i can get rid of that but i'll try but it's 449 so i decided to pick it up uh this is j crew mercantile i was very surprised to see that they didn't mark it up uh they put it far far <laughs> sorry 549 only is a sheath dress great career piece with this uh bokeh uh texture this is what this texture is called and it's a size two as well uh, usually J Crew dresses do really well. They sell for thirty dollars at least, so I'm hoping that this will sell for that much. Um, I have found this brand only as retail arbitrage before. I bought it at uh, TJ Maxx or Marshalls, and um, it's pretty expensive. It's called Onia, and this one was five ninety nine. I found this one on my way out on the. You know, when people decide that they are not going to get something and they live on a rack uh, on the side. So I found it there. It's a plaid uh, shirt dress. And then I found this. Brooks Brother. New tags. 129. It's a shirt dress for 9.49. This is so nice. It has a roll tabs, it's chambray, and it's a size 14 petite. Then I found my best find, which was still cheaper than the J. Crew dress. It was $11.49, and it's my first time finding this brand in a while. I'm just gonna show you. It's brand new with tags, and it's Halston Heritage. And this dress cost $325 and they sold it for $11.49. So, yep, that was my best find. Then I'm going to show you some shoes that I pick up, picked up. Uh, this one is Cole Haan. It's brand new. You see, it was never worn before. This one's... Uh, 1049 but I removed the tag already then I picked up these that need to be cleaned Stuart Wiseman uh, boots they are lined I can't show it to you because I'm holding with one hand I'm sorry uh, yeah you can see here Stuart Wiseman it was 499 then I found this uh, Lucky Brand uh, Scrunchy Ballet Flats for $4.99. This uh, brand I've never found before. It's called Taos. It, it's like, a, it's a Mary Jane, but it I can get, I think, over $30 for it. And I paid... 549 then I found the uh, these born sandals they're in good shape too um, let me see how much I paid for these I paid 549 and then this was the best I found these fry mules. I had never found fry in the wild ever before. Let me see if I can show you the here. Okay, you can see, and it was five forty nine. It had some scuffs. I already um, used this um, leather wipes. Um, I like to use that when the shoes are a little bit dirty so we can wipe uh, and condition the leather and I also use a Dr. Martin's um, condition I don't know what it's a kind of a wax 
so yep that's it please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and sub consider subscribing it will help me a lot and it will mean so much to me thank you so much see you on the next video bye bye